What is up everybody? Hope you all are having an amazing, beautiful day. Saf here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a Galaxy S8 ROM for Note 3. And guys, last time the ROM I showed you for Note 3 had so many bugs and a lot of people were complaining about their S8 ROM. So I thought I want to make a new video and bring you guys a much better Galaxy S8 ROM for Note 3. So today the ROM we're checking out is actually called Magma ROM and it is a Galaxy Note 7 ported ROM but it has so many Galaxy S8 features that you will love them and in this software information you can see that this ROM is actually based on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow and guys there are some features in this ROM which have grown over me so bad that I literally love them and one of them is this beautiful beautiful live wallpaper so if I swipe through the pages you can clearly see that the particles also move so if I'm swiping towards the right you can see that the particles move in the opposite direction so I really like this wallpaper and more than that if you kind of move your device in the air like uh, left or right you can see that the particles also move with the movement of your device so uh, it is kind of similar to the iPhone's perspective wallpaper so here I have the iPhone and you can see uh, the same thing so uh, Samsung has uh, kind of copied Apple in this case but I really like that so big props to Samsung for doing that and guys now I would like to talk about the overs on display which actually comes with this from and uh, fortunately guys this time we are getting these features straight up before from the Galaxy S8, not from the Galaxy Note 7 or from the Galaxy S7 Edge. So if I turn off my device, uh, you can see the clock being displayed along with the space particles in the background. And uh, you can also tap on this little square icon in the bottom to wake your system. Uh, and you can change the settings uh, by going inside of always displays on mode settings. And here you have different clock styles and you can also apply the calendar uh, which you can see here and you can change this background I'm gonna go with the none so if you're satisfied with the looks click on apply click on apply once again and you can see that the calendar is being shown on my uh, display and guys since this is a Galaxy Note 7 ported ROM so it does come with the S Pen features as you can see here absolutely working fine and you have the edge panel here as well which of course works fine at the same time and guys now i would like to share one more cool feature with you because i really really like that and i hope you guys will also like it and that is the long screenshot feature so say i'm right now inside of settings and i want to take a screenshot of this page and this page so all i will do i'll take this screenshot normally as it is taken and then i will click this scroll capture button so what will happen the phone will actually take the screenshot of both the pages and you can click on this preview picture here to preview your full picture so this is a really nice feature and i wanted to share with you so that you can you know get to know about it as well and guys just like other custom roms this rom also comes with the custom rom control app and it is called nx settings in this rom so tap on that and swipe from the left side and uh, here you can actually make modifications to your system so uh, in the status bar you can actually enable the second clock to actually show seconds along with minutes and hours and you can also disable that if you don't like that and if you have your smartwatch with you you can also change its settings by tapping on this AOD screen and uh, talking about the camera application guys well it is also working pretty fine you also have the pro camera here so you can change the iso white balance and the exposure very easily in nutshell it is working pretty fine and guys talking about the battery timing uh, well from my handling i'm gonna rate this uh, to 7.3 by 10 so yeah it's fine and uh, regarding the bugs well it is a custom rom so yes it does come with some bugs like for instance the s pen uh, sorry the s cover is not working and you will find some minor bugs here and there so uh, i would suggest you guys to ascertain uh, the features and goodies which you have with this rom because you guys will really really love doing that and yeah now i will go ahead and show you guys how you can actually install this rom on your device and guys this is the list of the supported devices for this rom and guys if your device is not listed yet then please don't try to install this rom on your device because that will probably not work on it and installing this rom is pretty simple guys because you just need one file and, and that is the rom itself 
itself uh, which has to be flushed through, through the custom recovery and guys uh, I'm gonna be using TWRP 2.8.7.0 uh, for installing this ROM so if you don't have that custom recovery the link to that is also given in the description of this video and one more thing guys uh, I would like to share uh, if you're going to use uh, the TWRP uh, custom recovery other than the version 2.8.7.0 then please don't try to flash this ROM through that recovery because that won't be installed and you would get uh, some errors so yeah boot up into the custom recovery uh, which I just uh, told you and this is what you have to do afterwards so guys once you are inside of the custom recovery click on vibe advanced vibe and here select Delve cache system data and cache so once selected swipe to wipe them up and then guys click on back and move to the directory where you actually saved your ROM so for me it's in the micro SD card so uh, this is the name of the ROM magma ROM so click on that and swipe to flash it and then the aroma installer would pop up now here guys uh, choose the language uh, which you want to have I'm gonna go with English so click next and then here click next once again and this is the change log if you want to read go ahead if you don't want to read that all right click next just like me and uh, here guys you have to select uh, the installation type if you are going to install this ROM for the first time then click this one the first option but if you want to you know make some changes to your system you know you want to install some mods then click the second time but uh, for me I'm gonna go ahead uh, with the first option because I'm gonna install this for the first time so click on next then and here choose the device model number uh, which you actually have so for me it's international variant of note 3 and 9005 uh, click next and here choose the kernel guys now guys uh, this is the one of the most critical parts uh, of, in, of the installation process uh, last time I installed the ROM with this kernel the Gugu DOS kernel and honestly speaking guys uh, I had a really really worse battery timing with this kernel so please don't try to install this ROM with this kernel if you're gonna if you want to have a really good battery timing then go ahead and install the ROM with this kernel LSS 3.8 so I'm gonna go and uh, install this kernel for my device and 9005 after you have selected the kernel click next and here choose the C uh, I'm gonna go with BTU and here are a number of apps uh, third-party apps actually so uh, you select whatever you want to have and then click next once again here choose the system UI like which kind of system UI you want to have I'm gonna go with the S8 theme 6 toggles you have UDS you have the battery color as well so I'm gonna go with the white one then click next and here I'm going with the Ga Galaxy S8 launcher click next once again and here you have some more features select what you want to have click next after that and I'm gonna go with the Galaxy Note 7 camera here uh, after that you have the sound installation choice here I'm gonna go with the Viper for Android click next once again and after that you will be presented to the NTP server page now here you have to select uh, where you are actually living the origin I'm going to select Oman because I'm living here uh, this is for the GPS service and then click next once again and here uh, you have the choice of super user so I'm gonna go with the default settings I'm not gonna play around with anything here else so click next and uh, here you have to click on full wipe one click next once again click next uh, sorry click install after that and uh, yeah your installation process will start now guys this will probably take like five minutes so don't panic about that and I'll show you what you have to do afterwards so guys once the installation has been completed click on next and uh, after that you can go ahead and reboot your system and guys I would like to add one more thing here the initial boot will actually take like 15 to 20 minutes so don't panic about that don't despair if your phone doesn't boot up after 10 minutes uh, the first boot usually takes a lot of time so give it some time and your phone will be booted so yeah that was about it guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit the like button and uh, let me know in the comments below what do you think about this from and I will see you guys next time